Have you heard of Facebook's new page experience? Well, watch this video because I'm gonna tell you why you should not switch over if you are wanting to utilize chatbots for your Facebook page. And also, if you have already switched over or if a client has already switched their page over, how to switch it back to get your bots working properly. haven't heard about this, uh, Facebook has a new page experience that they have been rolling out to pages. And what this is, is a way of a layout and a way of the Facebook page to look and function a little bit differently. Um, if you haven't heard about this, um, you're not the only one. I only heard about this a couple weeks ago because I kind of was thrust into the middle of knowing about it because a new client of mine um, has the new page experience. So if you have experienced this, you know, comment below if you have. Um, but today I'm going to go over a few things. One, um, why you don't want this, how this will make it so bots will not work, uh, how to know if a Facebook page already has been swapped over to the new page experience, and more importantly, how to switch back and also things to keep in mind when you switch back, because it's not just a simple switch back and you're good to go. I guess first I'll talk about what happens or how do you know about it switching? So one, you can manually switch it over if you want, or what happens is Facebook will like alert the page owner to uh, switch. So that's the, the two main ways to um, switch to the new page experience. So you'll see here, why am I share my screen here? So you can see that this looks like a regular page right now, right? But it says switch into bot, I named the so original bot tactic. Uh, switch over to this page to start managing it. So here's a big, one of the big issues I have with the new page experience. First of all, you cannot get access to it from a Facebook business manager. You can't get admin access. So with my new client, um, I, I couldn't access it for admin. Um, it wouldn't show me all the options. Actually, I have that here. Right? I was actually gonna show you. So if I try to add a page, request access to a page, if I have this here. Now, if I click here, you can see there is no admin access. There's only partial access. So I can't even get admin access if I wanted to, right? And you need, as you all know, as we all know, you need admin access on the page to have the ability to connect a chatbot to the page. So this is problem one, right? The only way though that you can get admin access to the page that's on this new page experience is if the page owner or an admin on the page adds your profile to the page as an admin. Now, the big downside to this um, is you will then start getting all the notifications for that page in your profile's notifications. It's the most annoying thing ever, especially if you have a page that gets a ton of notifications. I've always wanted, and you know, you can do, you've been able to add your profile as an admin for years. Um, and with some clients, they've tried to add me that way. I'm like, no, 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 I'll request access from my business manager because I did not want to have my profile attached to the page. I want my business manager attached to the page. So as you can see here though, that is not an option. So this, um, if you get a new client and you're like, okay, I'll request access to your page. If this is what you see and you don't see an admin option, this should be your first red flag that the page has been swapped over to the new page experience and that you need to request uh, or talk to them about switching it back. And I'll talk to you about that here in just a second. So once it's in the new page experience, you can hit switch now. And then you'll see it looks exactly for the most part like the page did before. But there are a few options here. Um, you'll, the first thing you'll see is the admin tools. This is it. There's no settings. There's no way to access advanced messaging or uh, the messaging option uh, that you normally see in settings. Um, all that stuff is you, you can't access that. With my new client, I was like, fine, add my profile and then I will connect the bot. But I need to request the one-time notification feature, right? Because you need to be able to do that in under advanced messaging. Well, I can't do that. I even contacted Facebook support and went back and forth with them for, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes or so trying to find out how I could access that setting or if they would even be willing to turn it on for me. I, I was that desperate. I'm like, just can you turn this on for me? I just need the one-time notification 
um, feature accessible. Um, but that's not an option. So that is a big thing and a big issue where you cannot access those settings from the new page experience. So a couple other things I want to um, go over and show you is this has been, I did some more digging and here in the uh, Facebook developer bugs um, website, which if you've never been here before, if you have ever an issue with um, functionality of your, your bot for some reason, um, a big thing you can do is go to this website and type in what your, your problem is and see if it's a bug, like if it's been um, added as a bug. But you can see here, somebody's saying they were trying to use the send API to send messages and they couldn't with the new page experience. So the crazy thing here is they said the engineering team investigated this issue and determined that it is by design. So they created this new page experience with not being able to use the send API. So that means no chatbots are able to function on uh, a new page experience. You can't send messages um, from uh, outside of Facebook. It's really ridiculous. So um, they said they are, um, you know, it's not yet supported for it at this time. And here's the crazy thing you can see. This was December 23rd that this was posted. So um, it's been months <laughs> since they posted that and it still is not fixed. So. That is why you need to switch back and have it switch back to the classic experience. Now, the big thing is, okay, you come across a page that has the new page experience. You want to set up a bot on it, but you can't because of the new page experience because of this issue. How do you switch back? So to switch back, you just go to these three dots and you say switch to classic pages. So when you click this switch to classic pages, it'll tell you what will happen if you do this? Like I said, it's not just a flip of a switch. There's going to be repercussions to switching back. And the severity of them will depend on how long this page has been in the new page experience. So if, you know, it's just recently been switched within the last day or so, no big deal. But you'll see here, the content that you that you posted since switching over to the new page experience, it's gone. Totally gone, 100% gone. Uh, you will not be able to access it if you go back to the classic page. Now, any posts that were posted in the classic page before the new page experience, they will be there. But the new um, posts and content since it's been switched over to the new page experience will no longer be visible. The other big issue is Facebook ads that you've been running since creating the new page experience will be off and you won't be able to duplicate them or turn them back on. You'll have to recreate them. So keep that in mind as well. So there can be some other um, issues if it's been, you know, a uh, new page experience for a while. So the nice thing though, is that you can download the content of the page that's been um, created of, uh, since it's been the new page experience, you can download those uh, posts, which would include the images and the videos and the posts themselves, which is good. So you can, you know, repost them and you can also backdate them. But the one thing it does lose is all the engagement that that post initially had. Uh, so that's uh, a downside. So quick story of this new client of mine. So I was like, okay, I had Googled new page experience, finding out when it was um, created because I didn't know how long that this, this page had been switched. And the article that I found was uh, announcing the new page experience was January 6th of 2021. I'm like, okay, worst case scenario, I have to post two months worth of content if he had switched the page two months ago, right? So I downloaded um, all the content. I actually went back through December 1st, just in case. I'm like, just in case, I'll just go back to December 1st. I switched it back to the classic page experience and then I refreshed the page to see, okay, when was the last post? October 6th of 2020. I was like, oh my gosh, of course, like this is ridiculous. So if you run into this, I had to switch back to the new page experience because then all the posts were still there again. And then re-download from October to December. So I'd had all the content available at that point. So then I switched back to the classic page and then I've spent a number of hours uh, reposting content, um, backdating it. You can also choose to have it not show in the newsfeed, which I found out after I started doing it, when somebody commented on a post saying, why are we seeing this post from November? <laughs> so uh, you can remove it from the newsfeed, but the other potential benefit is 
some of the content that's more evergreen that you know wasn't a post that wasn't you know relevant to that date or whatever i've been able to repost it as new stuff and it's getting a lot more engagement and then i'm also able to uh since i'm managing the page able to you know invite those people to like the page uh you know it's getting a bunch of shares and comments and stuff so that's always good to you know just continue to um repurpose that content but that is a big downside though of uh, switching back is that it will delete all the uh, previous posts. That's the big, big thing with these new page experience. Again, I haven't heard anybody else really uh, bringing this up at all. My first actual uh, knowledge of this was somebody in my course uh, posted in our uh, private group saying, hey, I can't respond to people in live chat. And I was like, refresh permissions. Um, see if there's some other bug going on. And lo and behold, it's because of uh, the client had switched to the new page experience and pretty much made the bot not functional. So um, it's not being talked about a whole lot, but that's why I'm making this video to try and get the word out. So that way, one, it saves you time and hassle of trying to figure out what is going on. I've seriously spent hours uh, with that new client trying to figure out what was causing it. So it was, uh, I couldn't get access to the page and then I couldn't get the one-time notification to be set up. Um, so hopefully that, that this will help uh, save you that time. And then also now that you know how to switch back and what you need to do in order to switch back to the classic page uh, with being able to download the content. Um, and then you can go through the creator studio and then just repost that content and backdate it if you'd like. So anyways, hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions at all, please post them below um, and I will try to answer them the best that I can. So uh, I guess that is it. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye.